not sure you were surprised um, once Devin got out there and was able to do some things with that foot, but is that the Devin White that we remember and, and need to see down the stretch? And if he's that guy, it's 2020 again, right? That's the way to come back from, uh, I think, missed three games. Uh, set the tone for the game. Great play. Uh, great interception. I've been joking with them guys. I finally got one guy in the room that can catch. <laughs> but uh, a great catch too. yeah, it was a great catch. Uh, looked at it. Uh, it's a great play. Got us jump started. Hopefully, uh, see more of that going forward. Um, most, not all, but most rookies can hit a wall at some point. Yaya's done just the opposite. He seems to be getting better. What do you attribute that to? Uh, he's a gamer. I mean, you look at his his size and his athleticism, so you're not surprised when you see him making those plays. He made a play today on the practice field that caught everybody's attention, and uh, he's getting better. He's in a room with a lot of good guys that know how to play the game. Coach George Evans doing a good job with him, but he likes to play. Uh, you see why he went drafted third round, and uh, – that's very encouraging to see him going forward. And he's only going to get better, as you guys know. I don't know how many teams you've been a part of that was up and down for their ways and then fought their way out of it. But it takes a lot in this league to do that, right? It's hard to win four in a row. It's hard to come back from. So, so what, just, you know, from your experience, what, what makes that possible? Got to still have good leadership. Got to have good leadership in the locker room. It is a typical NFL season. I mean, you see it everywhere. You know, uh, you don't want to lose. I think we lost three in a row this year or yeah, something. But, awesome. right, you don't want to do that. But ups and downs during the season, you know, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Uh, you rely on the older guys in the locker room to keep them guys going. You got to stay confident. You know, us coaches, we got to figure out ways to keep them guys uh, locked in. And uh, still trying to, you know, just keep punching and uh, see what happens in December. We, we're sitting good right now. We just got to finish. The second time around playing the Saints, uh, defense did a really good job that first game limiting Chris Olave, who's one of their best weapons. Um, since then, he's taken even more steps forward. But how important is it going to be to try to limit him again for this matchup? It's going to be a, uh, a tough task, as you know. One of those plays early in the game, I think uh, Winfield got a fingernail on the ball. So we know what type of weapon he is. Uh, they got weapons on that side. I know that rivalry. You know, since I got here, you know, it's just intense. Records are thrown out. And uh, it's tough, I mean, but this is what you want, uh, to win the division against your uh, opponent at home. But it's going to take all hands on deck, and it's going to be a challenge for us. Zion, even though, you know, one week it's Carlton, one week it's, you know, that, as somebody that's out. And he, right. He's played the most match probably of, of any corner, but just his ability to, to be that sort of, you know, chameleon and, and be able to slip in. He played some safety right. last week. Well, he has the physical trait. We all know that. Uh, he's getting better year two. Uh, you know, you can't have enough DBs. You cannot have enough DBs. And uh, at the end of the day, experience, I believe, is the best teacher. You know, you can get them on the board all day. You can yell at them, scream at them. But uh, making the mistakes on the field, believe it or not, is better than the coach, you know. Now, you know, I always tell them guys, learn from the other guy's mistakes. And, but, but definitely experience is the best teacher. You know, you've had an older team before that sometimes you get to this time of the year and it's tough for those guys. Tough to practice, tough to push through this part of the year. In a weird way, it, you know, the younger guys that have gained experience, does that help you at this time of the year where you still have a look at for all the experience that you value, it's still a young man's game and some of these guys are being able to weather that. Don't right? tell fifty four that. Do not tell fifty four <laughs> that. He's the oldest man out there, but he's running around. You're right about that. Some people say we give him a break on Friday. That's the reason why he's so fresh in everybody. <laughs> Somebody messing with him the other day, like, what is he taking uh, after the Jacksonville game when we seen some of the coaches? But uh, what a leader. Everybody should look towards and um, try to be – just emulate him. Be a, He's a pro. And I tell guys, not just linebackers, watch him, see what he does. Uh, I know this Pro Bowl voting time, and I really don't really put too much into the Pro Bowl. But if he's not all pro, shame on us. 
And uh, you guys, local media, shame on you too. If he's not all pro, but he's having a tremendous season. Uh, such a pro. He, he's what he does. And last week, holding that tight end and covering that guy, uh, he did a tremendous job. But he's up for the challenge. You guys have been here. You know how uh, how talented he is. I wish the whole outside of Tampa knows that Man, he's special and I, I can't see another linebacker playing better than him right now but he's a good example for the young guys everybody should just look at him and try to copy everything he does Thank you. see you guys Have a good one.